probe paths are created along with items during the inspection sequence programming stage. PowerInspect uses them to drive a CNC controlled measuring device to each point where a measurement needs to be made. The controls used for creating and editing of probe paths are located on the Features tab. They are strategies suitable for probe heads capable of continuous contact scanning or touch trigger probing. When selecting an auto strategy, such as auto touch trigger or auto scan, the probe path is populated automatically with points. The pattern for the spread of points is determined by the selected method appropriate for the given geometric item or form type. For surface inspection, the raster and selected surface methods provide a uniform distribution of inspection points over the whole part or selected region or surface. Raster is also available for measuring a section through a part. Power Inspect can determine whether the extent of an edge is trimmed within specified tolerance limits. There are two probe path types for CNC edge inspection, surface surface probing and surface edge probing. These differ in the order of the point distribution, but both create point pairs. The first point in each pair detects any possible deformation of the edge carrier surface, thus adjusting the position of the matching point taken at the edge. This adaptive approach ensures the edge is not missed during CNC measurements. In addition to the automatically generated probe paths, user-defined strategies with various methods allow the user to create probe paths interactively by clicking the CAD surface or edit probe paths that were created automatically, adding, deleting, or moving points as required. In the absence of CAD, teach and learn methods can be used for creating probe paths using the measuring machine itself by taking points on the real part. These probe paths are stored and can be replayed automatically for subsequent measurements. Probe paths are also available for PowerInspect Premium. Used for manual measuring devices, they serve as a guide to where a point should be taken when measuring geometric items.